What's good, divas and gents? Welcome to my channel, Diva in the Apron. This is your girl, Kayla, and today I will be showing you guys how I make my brioche French toast. Now, every time I make this recipe, everybody always love it. They ask me how you do this, how you do that, how you get the taste like this. So today is y'all lucky day because I will be showing you guys how I make my French toast. Now, this recipe is perfect if you guys want a surprise bake, if you guys want to have a brunch, or if you just want to make it, if you just want some good French toast. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the ingredients that I will be using. Okay guys, so first you would need some brioche bread, of course, cause if not, then it wouldn't be brioche French toast. But however, if you guys can't find brioche bread, you can always just find like any thick sliced bread, like a Texas toast, it'll be fine as well. But just try to find the brioche, it's definitely worth it. I purchased mine from Trader Joe's, but you guys can find it at any major market. The rest of the ingredients you will need will be half and half, one egg, some vanilla extract, some white sugar, brown sugar, some nutmeg, cinnamon, maple syrup. Try to find maple syrup as well, guys. I just cannot eat my French toast without that. I mean, I just love it. It just pops to me. I just love maple syrup on my French toast. So don't look for no Aunt Jemima, no log cabin. Even though I love them syrups, but for my French toast, I must have my maple syrup. And I purchased this from Publix as well. Also, some confectioner's sugar, AKA powdered sugar, strawberries, and some margarine. Okay, divas and gents. So now that I have showed you guys the ingredients, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the recipe down below. Now let's do it. Quick tip guys, at this time when you're preparing your mixture, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 200 degrees and that's if you would like to keep your French toast warm while you're preparing the rest of them. Okay guys, so now it's the time to taste your mixture and make sure it's to your liking. So you want to make sure that your stove is on a medium low heat. I'm using about a tablespoon of margarine. You guys can use butter if you want, but just remember that butter does burn fast. And I like margarine because it doesn't burn as fast and it gives it a nice color. Once the pan is hot, you can go ahead and start getting your French toast ready, but make sure you mix the mixture in between each batch because you don't want the nutmeg and the cinnamon to settle. So go ahead and put your bread in, flip it over twice and make sure you get the edges and then just drop it in the pan. And repeat. Also, when I dip my bread, I let it soak for about two to three seconds before I flip it over. Okay guys, so you want your French toast to cook for about one to two minutes on each side, but make sure you take a peek at it halfway through to see how it's coming along. So guys, you might have to add more butter or margarine in between each batch. So that was a half of tablespoon that I just added. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish cooking the rest of my French toast. Okay guys, so here's the fun part. 
I'm going to go ahead and cut my French toast in half. Sometimes I keep them whole, but it's up to you guys. It's your preference. Now I'm going to go ahead and arrange them on the plate. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. I know this part is optional, guys, but don't skip it. I think you'll love it. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and garnish the top with some fresh sliced strawberries. So I went ahead and drizzled some maple syrup on top, and voila, look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, divas and gents, so this is my favorite part of the video because I am hungry. So I'm gonna get right to it and I'm gonna taste my French toast to see how they came out. They look good, they smell good, so I'm sure they good. They always good. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put an extra little drizzle of syrup. Look at these French toast guys. It just looks so yummy. Okay. All right, so the finale. Okay. And look at the center of these French toast, guys. Look how it's just perfect. A little custardy, and also it is like still, you still see the bread, it's not too soft, okay? Let's see. Mm. Diva in the apron, baby. Diva in a apron. Yes, honey. Apron, okay? These French toasts, oh my God. Bomb, one word, bomb. Bomb. Toast to the chef, baby. <clears throat> so, you guys see the way those French toast came out? You are not gonna wanna miss any one of my other recipes that I post, because I will be back with some more bomb recipes. So make sure you guys subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will put the links down below, so that way you guys can stay updated on these posts of my bomb recipe. So make sure you guys also give it a thumbs up if you like the video and you can leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about it. So I see you later. Bye.